Okay, we just got our wristbands in Sun and Fun 2019. We did something a little different this time. We didn't fly, but we drove. We're still gonna check out all the awesome things that Sun and Fun has to offer. So, here we go. 2019 was a great year for Sun and Fun. The turnout on Saturday was crazy, but I was happy to see so many people interested in aviation. So in this video, I'm going to go over what I think were the 10 best things at Sun and Fun 2019. These were chosen by uniqueness, rarity, and overall cool factor. So that brings us to number 10, the three-seat Aircam. Aircam has been a regular at Sun and Fun, but this year they brought their latest model, which featured a third seat. If you were to ask me how an Aircam can possibly get any better, I'd say it would be pretty cool if I could take an extra friend. The team at Aircam made this possible by strengthening the fuselage and giving it turbocharged Rotax 914s with an added bore kit. This thing is the ultimate fun machine. Speaking of an extra seat, the team at American Legend Aircraft debuted their newest mother of all cubs. What makes it different is that this cub has three seats. Let's check it out. Like the Air Cam, this plane has a third seat tucked into the back. It has a 195 horsepower Titan engine and the useful load comparable to a Cessna 172. Unfortunately, I saw the Moak as it was leaving, but the people at American Legend were kind enough to share some extra footage with me. I wish I had more time to check this plane out, but I'm excited to see the future of the Moak and will gladly take a ride in the third seat any day. All right, so I made a list of the top 10 fastest home-built airplanes and they have number one here. Let's pick up the speed with an airplane that has never been to Sun and Fun with the Turbine Legend. This home-built experimental is built for speed and the people at the booth told me that they saw speeds of up to 400 knots. The white Turbine Legend is powered by a Walter 601D turbine and has over 700 horsepower. This plane was also the first prototype by Legend and was originally built with a Chevy V8 back in 1996. The Red Legend has a Garrett turboprop which produces up to 1000 shaft horsepower. Both aircraft have a modern cockpit built for comfort and speed. It was amazing to see these airplanes in person and I sure hope they come back next year. Number 7 is an aircraft that I have never seen in person before. The V-22 Osprey. I have never seen an Osprey before in my life. This is awesome. I think this was the first time one has ever been to Sun and Fun, so I had to take a closer look. The Osprey is surprisingly big and it has some serious ramp presence. After talking to one of the pilots, I learned that it had a 3 hour range and would cruise at around 280 knots. It was interesting to learn that the angle of the engines changes to however the aircraft is loaded or balanced. I wish I had seen it flying, so here's a clip from aerial images of it arriving to Sun and Fun. Now it's time to see what the air show at Sun and Fun 2019 had to offer. Coming in at number 6, we have Stephen Covington and his 400 horsepower Pitts S2S Raptor. The show started out with impressive aerobatics and raw power from the Pitts, but what made it unique was the introduction of the immortal Red Baron. The routine featured the experimental sop with pup following the Pitts, and it performed surprisingly well. It was exciting to see the classic replica do those aerobatics, especially when flying inverted. This was a great show and definitely had that nostalgic air show feel. Number 5 has been performing at Sun and Fun for over 20 years, but this year was extra special. Julie Clark announced that this would be her last time performing at Sun and Fun, so it was an honor to see her beautiful Beechcraft T-34 perform for one of the last times. Her show features classic aerobatics with a patriotic theme. Her flight is always a refreshing change from the intense aerobatics of the Unlimited class, and she truly loves her country and aviation. So Miss Julie Clark, thank you for all the wonderful shows and inspiring aviation into thousands of people. As the day show ended and the crowds died down, number 4 settles in as the night air show. 2019 was the first year that I had ever seen a night air show and it's definitely worth staying for. 
it was great to be out of the sun and enjoy the show with a smaller crowd. And the Salto Glider is a night show classic. I also couldn't believe the amount of fireworks that they could fit on the wingtips of the Subsonics. Then Gene Susi and his showcat lit up the sky with impressive pyrotechnics and could possibly be the best night air show performer. Number 3 bursts into view as the fireworks show. You may consider this as a run of the mill fireworks show, but let me tell you, I have never seen a grand finale quite like this one. The Blue Angels should probably always be number one in any list, but since I'm focusing mostly on what made Sun and Fun 2019 unique, they'll be placed at number two. And if you've never seen the Blue Angels perform, just know that any video won't do them justice. No one flies closer, faster, and louder than the Blue Angels, and they will always be my favorite performance. It's true, I almost cry every time I see them. Here come the Blue Angels. I might cry. <laughs> If there is one airplane that takes the prize for Sun and Fun 2019, it's the XP82 Twin Mustang. All right, back at the star of the show, the Twin Mustang. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this rare and beautiful warbird is the only one of its kind flying in the entire world, and Sun and Fun was the first air show where it was brought to the public. This restoration is the result of over 10 years of work and a miracle. I have only ever seen black and white pictures of twin Mustangs in the past, so seeing one up close was a dream come true. I didn't get the chance to see it fly, but this wouldn't be a good video without a flying clip. So check out this video from Aerial Images of its flight at Sun and Fun. Thank you so much for watching and let me know your favorite thing from Sun and Fun 2019. I hope to see you all at Oshkosh and make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying. Until next year, goodbye. <laughs>